Hello and welcome to Otten Math in this edition of Otten Math. Another exciting round of information on similarity, congruence, and proportion in triangles. So let's talk about what's happening today. All right, so remember that uh, when we were talking about congruence of two triangles, we had, uh, or we knew that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, and we call that CPCTC. Now, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that CPCTC. We stated that uh, CPCTC. We stated that over and over again in our reasons uh, as part of our two-column proofs. So now we're going to introduce two other five-letter uh, acronyms for you, and the first is corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional, or CSSTP. And what that means is if we have two similar triangles, then we know that the corresponding sides of the similar triangles are going to be proportional. So if we're given in a proof, I have triangle ABC is similar to DEF, then I can say if I have two triangles that are similar ABC and DEF, then I can say that the triangles, the sides of the triangles, are going to be proportional. So I can say that AB over DE is going to be equal to AC over DF. And I can say that by CSSTP, or corresponding sides of similar triangles, are proportional. Okay, the next, uh, the next uh, corresponding angles of similar triangles are congruent is going to be CASTC. And if I have two triangles that are similar, triangle ABC is similar to DEF, then I can say by CASTC, or corresponding angles of similar triangles are congruent, that angle A is congruent to angle D. I can also say by CASTC that angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C is congruent to angle F. All right, well, let's apply that, these, uh, the knowledge that we just learned, to a problem. And the problem says uh, YSTW is a parallelogram. SX is perpendicular to YW. So SX here is perpendicular to uh, YW. And SV is perpendicular to WT. We want to prove that SX times YW is equal to SV times WT. All right, so let's talk about what we've got here. We have a parallelogram. and we know that opposite angles in a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, so angle T and Y are congruent. Now we have two angles and two different triangles that are congruent. I have a right angle and this angle here in red, and red for Y and red for T. So I have two similar triangles uh, in SXY and uh, SVT. Here are my two similar triangles. So now I can say that, and because I have two similar triangles, the side lengths are proportional. So I can say that SX over uh, SY is going to be equal to uh, SV over uh, ST. I can also say SX over SV is going to be equal to S Y over S T. Okay, now I know that Y S T W is a parallelogram. So I can say that Y S, let's say Y S is going to be congruent to W T. And I'm going to say that Y W is congruent to S T. Right, now I have all the relationships worked out. It's just a matter of applying the means extremes product theorem. So I take the relationships and using substitution. I have the relationship here. I have the side lengths which are proportional. And I'm going to use cross multiplication, the means extremes product theorem, to rewrite this proportion. So I have SX times ST. SX times ST is equal to SV times 
SY. Well, I know that SY is congruent to WT, so I can replace SY here. And we just learned that because we know that we have a parallelogram. We know that opposite sides are congruent. I can say that SV uh, times SY is the same as SV times WT. And I know that ST is congruent with YW because opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So I can replace ST with YW. And there I've just proven that SX times YW is equal to SV times WT. So let's take a look at that in a two column proof format. I say that YSTW is a parallelogram, that's given. Angle Y is congruent to angle T. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. And if you, can want, if you want, you can just pause this and then rewrite the theorem or the statements and the reasons and mark up the diagram on your own on a separate piece of paper. But I'm going to run through these fairly quickly. So angle Y is congruent to angle T. SX is perpendicular to YW and SV is perpendicular to WT. That's given. Angle SXY and SVT are right angles. So perpendicular segments form right angles, or we can say the definition of perpendicular segments. Angles SXY, uh, angles SXY is congruent with SVT, so right angles are congruent. Now I know the triangle SXY is similar to SVT by the AA theorem, and I state the statements and reasons that show that they're similar. Then I can say that SX over SV is equal to SY over ST, because I know that corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional, or the CSSTP reason. Now I can say by the means extremes product theorem that SX times ST is equal to SV times SY. And then because I have a parallelogram, I know that ST is congruent with YW and SY is congruent with WT. Really, this shouldn't be the same as uh, two. It should say that uh, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And then by substitution, I can rewrite my uh, proportion as SX times YW is equal to SV times WT.